Hey everyone, Loomis here, and I'm back with another Langris or Mobile video. So on today's video, we are going to cover the Chapter 45 fight, Crossing the Strait. And I'm going to go over some strategies on how to beat this fight. And as always, we're going to skip the plot because no one cares. Alright, so the way I'm going to set up for this fight, I'm going to have Liana down here with uh, Act Again in Prayer. I'll have Leon with his normal chivalry and um, assault. Next, I have Bozel here. I have him single target with seal. And I have uh, Rachel here with her um, single target attacks as well. Um, actually, one thing I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to take out seal and put in his faction buff, uh, just in case. And then over here, I have Tiaris with uh, Miracle and Attack Blessing, although... I don't really know if I need attack plus. I'm going to keep it though just in case. And I have Landius with his guard and his faction buff as well. So we are going to get started here. <clears throat> and basically the objective of the map is to kill uh, Farah up here. Um, or actually, well, to defeat all enemies, but you have to go up there. Um, and the treasure obviously is this blue flag. So we will make sure that we get that at some point. So what I'm going to do to start is I'm going to take Leon and we're going to use Shiv and go and ram into this gargoyle. Take him out. I'll move Leon over here so uh, Liana can again him because the way the terrain is in this area it's a little bit awkward but obviously it has a two square range so we can grab Leon and just finish off the bat no problem. Awesome. Alright, so we're going to move Leon up. Next, we're going to take Landius and use his faction buff. And I'm going to move Rachel down and Dark Scythe this bat. We take out the bat. Next, I'm going to take Bozel and I'm also going to Dark Scythe the bat. And because Bozel doesn't really have damage mods or his faction buff on, he is not going to be able to kill that bat. But we were able to luck sack a anti-heal, so he is not going to be able to heal when attacking, so he'll be easy to take down, um, and might even die on the counter, to be honest. We'll see. Alright, so you have those uh, dragons moving down towards us. Yeah, he died on the counter. Perfect. Okay, so we will have Landius tank these guys. Uh, they have wind pressure, so just be mindful of that. All right. Perfect. So, next what we're going to do is we're going to I'm going to move Leon up here. We have to be a little bit careful um of the spawns that are coming up. So, um that's why I'm not moving my guys uh aggressively north and I will faction up with Bozel. There's going to be spawns that come um pretty soon here. Next, I am going to kill one of the gargoyles. We'll heal back up a little bit, and then I'm going to take Tiaris and just heal Landius, so he can guard against the Gargoyle next turn, and Yulia can stay exactly where she is. Alright, and Landius should now be able to take out this Gargoyle. Perfect. He'll heal back up to full. And as I mentioned, here are the additional spawns that come. Alright, so... What I'm going to do is I'm going to sit outside of ranges, basically. Landius, I'm going to move down, and I'll use his uh, guard skill. Just so we can start uh, whittling down that bat. Um, Leon can stay right here, and then I'm going to move Pulsal right here. And then Tiaris can heal herself. And then I'm actually going to apply uh, Gospel to Liana. Alright. So the dragons are starting to move down towards us. They're going to be no problem to deal with them. Alright, so Landius deals quite a bit of damage to the bat. He's going to heal some of it back. Alright, so what I'm going to start off with is I'm going to take Rachel up here. And I'm going to use Dark Scythe on the dragon. We one-shot him. Heal everyone back up a little bit. 
Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Leon, and I am just going to assault into the Harpy Queen. We also take him on one hit. And then lastly, I'm going to take Bozel, and he can Dark Scythe the Gargoyle. And because he does not have his Sorceresses up right now, he is not able to one-shot, but that's okay. Next, what I'm going to do is, because we're down here, I'm going to take Tiaris, and because her Sorceresses are max, I'm going to attack the Bat once. Liana should hopefully kill. Not quite. Alright, so I'm just going to move Landius up, because he will suicide on Landius next turn, and then Yulia can go next to him. Alright, so the Gargoyle's going to attack Rachel. We get hit with the Wind Pressure. Harpy Queen comes in to attack Landius. He heals back up, and again, Wind Pressure. And then now the Bat should finish himself off on Landius. Great. Alright, perfect. So, what I'm going to start off with is I'm going to have Liana hit the Harpy Queen. Just so we can get a passive heal on everyone. Um, next, I'm going to have Rachel just use Holy Word on this Gargoyle so we can heal her back up. Next, I'm going to have Landius. Actually, no, wait. I'm going to have Tiaris finish off the Harpy Queen. I'm going to have Yulia heal Landius. And then Landius is going to attack uh, the Tiamat. And almost one shot, not quite. Alright, and then Leon's is going to move. Um, and Bozo over here. Okay. Alright, so he suicides on Tiaris. And we get a awfully shrill, sc shrill scream that I did not want to hear. And Farah now transforms into a giant dragon. So, into Leviar. <laughs> Alright, so the gimmick with these uh, Bahamuts is that they all have um, magic defense command. So, they are going to have a lot more uh, magic defense than you would expect. So, it's something we got to be careful of. So, what I'm going to do to start is I'm going to use Landius' faction buff. So, we can get Rachel buffed up again. And then, I am going to have Rachel start off with a hit on the Bahamut. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, Liana, and I'm actually just going to again Landius. Um, I'll have Yulia heal up Tiaris. Uh, Tiaris will attack Blessing on Landius. And Landius can run into the Bahamut. And do a considerable amount of damage. Uh, next, I'm going to have Leon use Shiv. And he is going to smash into this Bahamut. He can run down. Because um, the Bahamut is going to keep running towards us. So we can um, get his talent to proc from more squares being run. So that's no problem. Bahamuts are moving down again. So you can use Great Dragon Barrier to guard each other. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run up Leon. He's going to deal significant damage. I also have him wait here. I'll have Rachel then use Dark Scythe, heal herself back up, and heal Leon back up. All right, great. So now I'm going to start moving Bozel a little bit over, just in case we need him to help out over there. Uh, thank God for flying units. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Landius, and I'm just going to finish off this Bahamut. And then I can move the squishy units up behind him. And I'm going to Miracle. So, the dragon does have an AoE, he's probably going to use Dragon Breath on us, which I completely forgot about until now, but that's fine, he cannot kill us. Okay, so, I'm going to take Bozel, and we are going to Dark Scythe this Bahamut, 
deal a considerable amount of damage. We got a clock proc, which is great. All right, so Liana is going to use her prayer. I'm going to curl up Landius and attack here. Uh, Tiaris, I'm going to attack with, with their sorceresses, and we he only has uh, 247 HP left, so we could let him suicide on Landius, or we could just take Yulia and finish... Oh, nope, not quite finish him off. Alright, he still has the passive guard, so we'll be okay. Move Rachel over, and then um, I'm going to keep Leon on ice out here, so we can run up and use Shiv um, eventually on uh, Farah there. We're... I, I should say Leviar. <laughs> Alright, so we have six turns left. Let's review Farah's skills real quick. So, she's still Farah. Um, she has Windblade, she has Tornado, she has Magic Defense, Intimidate. She, her magic damage is decreased, or sorry, melee damage is 90% down, um, and has Fixed Immunity, Silence, and uh, Stun Immune. So, as the Bahamuts had great magic defense, uh, she has great physical defense. So we are going to need to um, prepare ourselves accordingly. So I'm going to give Rachel attack blessing. And Landius, I'm going to use his faction buff so we can buff up Rachel. Rachel is going to be our primary damage um, on this fight. Uh, Leon, I guess I can move over here. Let's keep him outside of the range. And then we have Yulia. All right. So, you know, I don't know how even we get Leon in range. All right, I'm just going to stand him there. I don't really care what he's going to do right now. All right, so first I'm going to start off. I'm going to, actually just in case, I'm going to faction buff with Bozel on the treasure so we can get the treasure. And what do we get? We get 150 uh, or a Calcum Ore, which is great. And then I'm going to come in and I am going to use Death Scythe on Farah, which almost OHKOs her. <laughs> Darn. <laughs> that would have been nice if we did the uh, OHKO. Um, and I'm glad I made the decision to... Well, that was pretty close, so I was glad I decided to move Bozel first just in case. And she attacks single target and we take her out. So as you guys can see, this is a pretty simple map. Uh, there are a bunch of random flyer spawns, but they spread out. Or sorry, they spawn pretty spread out, so it's easy to deal with them. And you know, you don't necessarily need a tank. I only used a tank on the one side. We got 30 more uh, Angelica shards, so we can summon her now, and we can do some more map stuff, so we can unlock Chapter 46. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit the like and subscribe button. And as always, if there are any videos that you would want to see please let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you later.